the next we go on to how to name coordination compounds. So, these have a different set of rules from writing the formula. So, we look into these set of rules now. The cation is always named before the anion. So, cation is always getting a preference whether you are writing the cation or whether you are naming the cation. Again, we will take the example of NaCl. NaCl is named as sodium chloride. In naming also, you write the sodium first and you write the anion afterwards. Similarly, when we talk about coordination complex, in that also the cation is always named before the anion. So, if you have KAG, CN hold twice, then this name will start with potassium. You will name potassium, you will write potassium, you will give a space and then you will write whatever the name of your complex is. How to name the complex, we will see in the coming slides. And if you have CO NH3 whole 6 Cl3, in this case the cation is the complex, right? The coordination spare is the cation. So, first you will name the coordination spare. After the naming of the coordination space complete, you will give a space and you will write chloride. So, the ligands which are present outside, you need not indicate the number of them that is present. Like if they are Cl3, you will not write trichloride. You will just write chloride because the number will already be indicated by the oxidation state of the metal atom like we just calculated in our previous examples how to determine the number of ligands which will be present outside. So, that is why within the naming you do not need to write the number of ligands which are present outside. The ligands are named before the metal ion. In this there are 6 NH3 ligands. So, first you are going to write the name of ligand and then you are going to write the name of the metal atom which is present and without a space. There has to be no space whenever you are writing the name of the coordination spare. There has to be no spaces between names of ligands and the name of the metal atom. So this will be name of ligand then give, a, give no space then you just write cobalt. And then obviously there will be one space and then you have to write chloride. Now how to name ligands? Let us see. Appropriate suffixes are added to the name of ligands. Like your ligands are anionic. Anionic ligands you have those which have a negative charge. Then you have positive ligands those which have a plus charge and then you have your neutral ligands. So, anionic ligands their name ends in O, positive ligands name ends in EM and neutral ligands are written as such. Now, let us look at some of the name of the anionic ligands, positive ligands and neutral ligands. That is how they will change and how appropriate suffixes will be added to them. Let us start with negative ligands. So, if the original name of the negative ligands ends in ide, like we have it ends in ide, like your chloride, then that will change to ido. If it ends in ite, it will change to E2. And if it ends in 8 originally, then it will change to A2. So, like you have chloride, which is Cl negative, it will change to chlorido. Bromide, Br negative, will change to bromido. Similarly, fluoride and iodide also. Then we have nitrate. Nitrate is NO3 negative. The earlier one will be named as thiosulfato S. 
now if you have OH negative that will be named that is hydroxide so it will be named as hydroxido now there are some changes in this that chloride is also known as chloro although chloride is the more updated uh, set of rules it comes within the more updated set of rules but chloro is also correct similarly bromido is also known as bromo cyanido is also known as cyano hydroxido is also known as hydroxo and in case your negative ligands have carbon in them that is they start with carbon like ch3 negative this was originally named methyl but here they will not be named methylo they will stay methyl so if you have ph negative which is c6h5 negative that will also be just phenyl and not phenylo this was the rules of naming of coordination compounds for negative ligands now let's move on to the positive ligands so positive ligands are no positive no positive is nitrosonium nh2 nh3 positive hydrazinium and no2 positive which is nitronium so you can see all of your positive ligands end in em now let's move on to neutral ligands neutral ligands are named as such like if you have methylene ch3 nh2 methanamine then it will be named as that, as that that is you can either say it's methanamine or methylamine both of them are correct then en or ethylene diamine it's just named as ethylene diamine there are no changes done to the name there is another neutral ligand pyridine pyridine is also called just pyridine no changes to the name pyridine is also abbreviated as py so that was the name of your positive ligands negative ligands and neutral ligands now there are some exceptions to this in which some ligands have a different name when we talk about nh3 nh3 is named as amine h2o is called aqua co is called carbonyl cs is thiocarbonyl all of these are again neutral and no just no is also nitrosyl so these are all the names for your exceptions as well as your positive ligands as well as your negative ligands mm -hmm.